The Ag Minute on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture is brought to you by your Louisiana propane dealers, fuel for our future, and by the Southeast United Dairy Industry Association, dedicated to dairy, our cows, our milk, our land. It's clean, it's abundant, and we have a lot of it here in Louisiana. I'm talking about propane. Many farmers depend on propane to fuel their operations. To learn more about this, we now turn to This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson with this week's in-studio guest. Avery? Mike, lots of cities depend on propane to fuel all of their buses, and also farmers depend on fuel for everything around their farm. Joining me now is Randy Hayden with the Louisiana Propane Gas Association. And Randy, tell me a little bit about some of the agricultural uses of propane. Avery, thanks so much for having us here. Uh, propane has been on the farm probably since the beginning that propane has been pulled from the ground. Uh, just like Jed Clampett when he, when he shot that uh, bullet in the ground and the bubbling crude came up. Well, that's kind of where we get most of our propane. A lot of people don't recognize that. And so, of course, in Louisiana and in the South, it's very important fuel, particularly on the farm. Uh, quick story, Governor Mike Foster, when he was on the farm growing up, would tell the story that they didn't have air compressors on their farm, but they had a lot of propane, so they would fill their tractor tires with propane. I said, Governor, how'd you ever get to be a governor? That's, that's not one of the safest, uh, efficient uses of propane. But it's always been on the farm, uh, and it will always be on the farm. It's a portable fuel, uh, it's clean burning, uh, it's hot, uh, and it's an excellent fuel, fuel for, for farmers and for uh, rural residences. Tell me about some of the incentives other than the fact that it's clean burning. You know, that, that gives you that good feeling inside that you're being green when you use propane. But there are some monetary incentives for certain uh, changeovers you could make by going over to propane. There are. Uh, nationally and locally in the state of Louisiana, there are several funds that are available. Nationally, there are funds available for uh, irrigation equipment. Uh, and, and also for mowers and many people that have large tracts of land uh, need tractors and mowers to keep their land under control. And so there are incentives up to $5,000 for those types of things. And then of course in Louisiana we have Louisiana incentives on top of that. Many people use the tankless water heaters on the farm uh, to keep an endless supply of hot water for whatever purposes they may need. And we've got uh, rebates up to, to $1,500, $2,000 uh, depending on how many different different uh, appliances you would, would apply for. Louisiana is the number two producer of propane in all of North America, and much of it is because of Hainesville and Tuscaloosa and because of the oil and gas fields that we have here, but also because of the refineries that we have throughout Louisiana. And so we have an abundance, and for the first time in a hundred years, uh, Louisiana and America were net exporters of propane. We were actually sending out more propane than we were taking or using here in our own country. Uh, and so it is an incredibly abundant fuel, and because of that, that makes it inexpensive. And because of that, people are looking for alternative uses. Uh, people don't realize that propane is the number three auto fuel in the world behind gasoline and diesel. There are about 17 million vehicles running on propane. And so I think the future is going to be for Louisiana and for uh, America using uh, propane more domestically in, in auto fuels and in newer technologies. And with it being such a clean and abundant fuel, I'm certain people are going to find more uses for it. Thank you very much. He is Randy Hayden, the executive director of the Louisiana Propane Gas Association. So, Mike, there you have it. Lots of reasons why farmers and people in rural communities should turn to propane. To find out more and to find out more about those incentives, you can go to our website at twilatv.org. And I'm sure many farmers will be taking advantage of those incentives. Avery Davidson, thanks. 